today we are doing. Boundaries, woo. So this is interviewer Vicky. I'm the interviewer. My first interviewee. So what's your name? So, uh, Gagandeep. Hey, I'm Abby. Hey. Julie. AKA boss lady. Okay, boss lady. She's boss lady. What is your name? Leveo. Hello there, I'm Dave Shaw. Nice to meet you. Um, what do you think of a relationship in general? Well, they're good. Relationships allow the world to go ahead because relationships allow children to be born, allows our population to go <laughs> increase, <laughs> ensure that humanity doesn't die. We need like communication and shit to make sure they're good. I think you know it's a good way to get close to someone. Um, I think that they are always different because it depends on the individual how you connect with another um yeah just like a relationship in general yeah just what do you think boundaries are like how would you define it because everybody needs their private space even in relationships and uh yeah i think they're important like vocal you would have to like sit your partner down and uh, talk about like you know what you want in a relationship what you don't want or like what you, yeah. Just a common understanding of what's allowed and what's not allowed and what's acceptable or not acceptable. Um, because you may not have the right partner who respects your boundaries and uh, then it's difficult to talk through to, to them and set boundaries that you both can respect. Okay. Um, if you need it, like I feel like if you need space or time, then you need to communicate that effectively. So then you make sure that both of them know, like you need space for yourself. Yeah. No, not Companionship. Okay. And being married for 44 years. Yes, guys, married for 44 years. Boundaries are things you put in place to make sure someone doesn't kind of treat you in a way you don't want to be treated or do anything that you're not comfortable with. So you might have a boundary like, oh, I don't want to be hugged by people randomly. You might also just have a boundary of, I don't want to speak to anyone after 9 p.m. Yeah, it's easier for the older generation to set boundaries compared to younger generation. I think the younger generation are better at setting boundaries than the older people. Older people have set ways. Oh, okay. I think it probably can be, especially if you, for younger people who've not had the, you know, it's the first experience of those kind of, it depends what kind of relationships we're talking about, but okay. um, quite often young people find it hard, they want other people to like them. Mm -hmm. And so they don't want to be saying, oh, this is how I need it for me. They're, they're more concerned about the other person. So. I think sometimes people do find it hard because they want to, but they want other people to be happy. Yeah. So they don't always feel they can assert themselves. But I think increasingly through the media, there's lots of information about why that's really important. And I think it's probably become easier than it was when I was growing up, when I was a young yeah. person. Okay. I think we all have the same amount of like, ability to set our boundaries. I think that hopefully my generation, millennials, I'm taking all the credit, um, have empowered Gen Z to kind of set boundaries. Um, and it's something we talk about now as well, which believe me, when I was at school, no one was like, oh, do you have, you know, didn't you want to set some boundaries? They were just yeah. like, do whatever happens. So. Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's necessarily easy. I think a lot of older people find it quite hard to talk about that kind of thing okay. and they're not as comfortable talking about the feelings. I've got two teenagers at home. Mm -hmm. They, I think they're better at doing it than I would have been at their age. Okay. So I don't think it's, I think everybody finds it hard. Okay. Obviously experience makes it easier. All that's, right. that's, that's what I would say. Do you believe that taking breaks from a partner will improve your relationships? Um, yes and no. No if it's a break, yeah. a la, I mean you guys are very young, but a la friends, like we were yeah. on a break. No, if it's that kind of thing, I personally think that if you are seeking that kind of break, then what you want is a breakup and you probably have just found you guys aren't compatible anymore. Um, but like, you know, not seeing them for a month or something, yeah, fine, we all need our own space. I think it's really healthy uh, for people to do that because um, otherwise you don't kind of bring new things back in. If you're mm -hmm. just ever only spending time together with that person, you can get a little bit stale in, in your relationship, so you need to go and do some of your own things. It's important that you spend time together as well. Yeah. But it's really important that you have your own interests and other friends. Yeah. Uh, you know, just anything can happen. So you got to be you got to be open to lots of people. I think okay. that's the best thing, best way of being. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think that? Because otherwise there'd be a big argument. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, 
the good for those those people. Yeah, yeah, see her, stay that way, stay that way. Can we do that it's again? I look really fucking white. Really really okay, so sorry about that. That was a little technical issue. <laughs> yes, guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, boss yeah, lady. So okay, so that's her answer. So, um, do you have any boundaries in your relationship? I think boundaries have to come with like communication depending on the person so like if you want your relationships to be good you need to establish those boundaries wait guys I look really white okay um um wait sorry guys um okay sorry 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 um do you hold the perfect camera that would work okay